Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to create lists of custom types. Very useful. Essentially, you need to know that when we're doing object-oriented programming and we create a class, we're creating a type that we can use just like any other type. In this case, it's type user. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So here's what we're going to do. In this case, we have one object, me, but we can create numerous objects. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create another object. So I'll say user, I'll call this one you, and we'll give you a nice name. So first name, sub, <laughs> and then last name, of course, is going to be scriber. Now we can make a list down here by saying list using the less than and greater than sign and putting our type, user. We can give this list a name, usually whatever the type is plural, so we'll just say users. And then we'll say new list of type user. And then the parentheses. So that is how we create the list. Yes, very redundant. You have to put list of user twice here. Alternatively, you can use var, which will save you some typing, but you know, I always try to be as explicit as possible just so it's really clear that this is a list of type user. Now, all you have to do is say users.add and pass in me. And then we can say users.add and pass in you. Now that you have these users in this list, we can work with the list as we did when we were talking about lists earlier on in this series. So for example, we can iterate through this list. We can say for each. And what is this going to look like exactly? Well, the type is going to be user. So we'll just call it user. We'll say you, which now that's actually a bad name. <laughs> Why is that a bad name? Well, because this one's called you. And although they're typed differently, it could be a little confusing if you're talking about code with someone. So we'll just go with uh, user like that. <laughs> There's way too many users and U's and stuff going in here. Um, anyways, that's probably a little better, maybe. Um, and then what we do is say in users. Then we can access the properties of this user object. The first iteration, it's going to be me. The next iteration, it's going to be you. So we'll console write line and we'll just say usr dot full name. And that's it. So we can basically output the full name for both me and you using one line of code. I mean, we have this extra lines of code for the for each, but if you were going to do this for 100 users, you're gonna save yourself a lot of code by doing this in a loop and putting everybody in a list like this. So let's run this and see what we get. So we get subscriber, but I'm not seeing Caleb Curry. Hmm. It's a little odd. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try debugging this. So. I'm going to put a breakpoint right here, run this, drag this down here, and take a look at some of these variables. So we have me, expanding this, we have first name, and pretty soon we'll have a last name as soon as it gets there. So that's good. Next we got you. Oh, I see, I am assigning to me, not you. Ha <laughs> don't wanna do that. So um, I'm going to fix that now, and that should fix the problem. So the reason that this was outputting subscriber, not my name, is because I was replacing my name with subscriber, and then the next one just had an empty name, so it was just printing nothing. All right, so let's end this debug session, and let's try to run this again, see what we get. And you can see now we're getting the output we expected, Caleb Curry and subscriber. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful and gave you a little bit more experience with working as with your classes as if they were types, because they are. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.